Gypsy Rose Blanchard, oh, so live at Pool, right. August 2024. I think I may jump in the water in a little bit. Thank y'all for the roses. I'm going to take my eyes off the sun. Where's the sunglasses? That would help. Aw, thank you. Thea? Is it Thea? Thank you, Brittany. Oh, it's a little foggy. <laughs> thank y'all for the roses. All right. My glasses are foggy right now. Hold up. I gotta use my t-shirt. There we go, that's a lot better. I mean, the sun's not shining in my eyes. <sighs> Thank you for the heart puff. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, Mandy. Thank y'all for the roses. Baby bump. <laughs> Let me see all that. Not a very big one, but uh, it's still there. I started feeling like little flutters of movement a few days ago. So tomorrow I will be 19 weeks. And then next week we go for our 20, not like, not this upcoming week, but the following week we go for our 20 week anatomy scan. Um, which we'll get like more pictures of her then. I still have to put the newer pictures that we got from the Sweet Pea ultrasound in a frame. What time is it for me? Uh, I think it's like 10.30ish. There's the baby daddy, he's coming. He's at the gym right now. I'm at the pool. No, I don't think I'll get any more tattoos. Um, I mean, not while I'm pregnant at least, of course. I think like if I, if I get another tattoo, I want it to be like super meaningful. Um, I want it to be a family based. So maybe, maybe my daughter's name. They always say, don't put a man's name on your body. <laughs> I kind of messed up with that a little bit back in the day, back in 20, 2018. I had put a K on my ankle for Ken very faded now. But. Yeah, my back one was very meaningful. It hurt. I, I was not prepared for how much a back tattoo would hurt on the spine. Um, but my cousin Bobby did it and he did a really good job. So, How many months am I? But I've entered into my fifth month. So um, five months is calculated. Anywhere from uh, 18 to 22 weeks is uh, considered five months. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Esha. Thank you, Skylar. Do I have morning sickness? No, I've actually been really blessed with no morning sickness. Like. I get a little nauseous here and there, but I have not puked, not once, which is really nice. Am I at the beach? No, I'm at a, a local pool. <laughs> like a public pool type of thing. You have to have like a gym membership to have access to the pool and stuff. 
Ken and I have been trying to get like very um, like physically more health conscious. Um, he's been going to the gym. Um, like for me, I'll walk the track with him. I won't do anything like super um, strenuous on my body, but I'll do walking. Um, I'll do slight weights, like those little dumbbells, you know, those little handheld ones, five pounders or something. Just so like I'm active. So I don't, I don't want to just like be like I'm pregnant. I'm just gonna be a couch potato and get fat. No. Do I get recognized a lot? Yeah, I do. This is my disguise. <laughs> I don't know if it works. <laughs> and these are my glasses. The picture that I had posted, I think it was yesterday. Um, I was wearing Ken's glasses, so these are mine. I finally brought them. <laughs> This can work. Yeah, of course he has a job. People gotta live. People gotta work. I'm trying to keep really bright out here. Oh, thank you, Molly. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Danny. I think Ken said he'd be like done in about 10 minutes or so. Then he would be coming. So, we did go see the new Blake Lively movie that I was talking about on, I think, a few lives ago. We went to see It Ends With Us. I cried. I cried. Oh, my God. It's, it's a good movie. Um, I didn't expect... I, I mean, I didn't read the book, so I didn't know what it was about going into it. Um, I thought it was going to be something similar to, like, The Notebook or something. Um, but it had, like, a really heavy message about domestic violence. Um, and I know Blake Lively is getting a lot of, like, criticism right now and everything, but I'm not going to get into all that. But as for the movie, the movie I thought was really good. But, I mean, i never seen the book. They always say that the book is better than the movie. Um but it had like a really positive message. It had like a really positive message that I feel like I can really relate to at the end of it. Um, especially when she was holding her baby and she's like, you know, it ends with us. Like that was relatable. May not have been about like domestic violence for me, but you know. I got definitely teary-eyed at that part. And then like Ken and I were talking about it after. He liked it too. We both got a little emotional. Okay, it's really hard to see the comments right now. It's so bright. All right. I cannot see the comments anymore, so I'm gonna probably have to end this live, but I'll go jump in the pool. Well, not jump, but <laughs> crawl in the pool and uh, get cooled off. Thanks for watching while y'all had me on here and I will do another live soon. Ah, see if I can even find the button to turn this off. All right, in line. Bye.